Hi, my name is John Mayle, and I'm the Regional Director for Asia. I live in Hong Kong, and I oversee the work of uh, LCMS World Mission in Asia. That is everything from uh, India and Sri Lanka all the way around Papua New Guinea, the Philippines, all the way up to the, the greater China world, Korea, and Japan. Uh, we have work going on in uh, 17 different countries. We have missionaries uh, that actually live in 12 different countries. Uh, the current focus of work in our region is uh, education, and that takes all kinds of forms. Uh, we have over 200 Lutheran schools in Asia with over 100,000 students. In Hong Kong alone, we have uh, 20,000 students, and we have two international schools in Hong Kong and in Shanghai. Uh, the other education piece that we, that we do is uh, education, uh, theological education. That's training pastors and, and uh, deaconesses and lay people to do outreach. We want them to become church leaders. We want them to become able and equipped to do the Lord's work as we do God's mission in Asia. Part of our strategy in Asia for helping to multiply the, the workers is that our education, whether it be education for in grade schools and high schools, or most importantly in our educating and training up of uh, church leadership, is to equip them to be uh, instruments of God working in His mission, so that each and every Christian that's part of every church see themselves as mission outposts in which they then are able to go out and share God's news of Jesus as our Savior and bring those people into community with Jesus, into congregations. One of the uh, very, very exciting things that's happened in Hong Kong in the past year is we've had uh, GEOs, these young volunteers who have come over and served alongside of our teachers in the Lutheran Church Hong Kong Synod in the schools. And the schools have uh, responded overwhelmingly with the, in a positive way with the, the work that these, these young people are doing. And in fact, the communities around these schools are beginning to wake up and say, well, we want to be part of this school. We want to send our children to this school. And in one case, the increased enrollment is 30% in one school next year and 70% in another year all because of the, the uh, dynamic work that's going on by these young missionaries. Very, very pleased to have them. One of the interesting things that has happened is uh, in the United States there are many Lutherans who have come from Southeast Asia and they're different ethnicities. And they now have a great desire to take back the gospel to their people. And the Hmong ministry, the Hmong Mission Society is a good example of a U.S.-based organization that has partnered with LCMS World Mission to take the gospel back to the Hmong people in Southeast Asia, South China, and other places. And as we work together, we find that uh, we can really multiply the, the training and the work that's done among the Hmong in, uh, in Asia by North American Hmong. It's, it's a very fascinating and a very exciting way that, uh, that we are able to build up a, an indigenous church so that they are able to actually do the ministry on the ground. One of the ways that you can support us, and I think the most important way, is to continue to pray for the work of, of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod as, as we, as your representatives, uh, work overseas in, in ways that... Uh, hopefully are honoring you and honoring God with what we do and say that we are building up those, those indigenous peoples that they can carry on the work and be part of uh, spreading the good news themselves. We ask that you continue to pray for us in all that we do, that we remain safe, and that the people with whom we work also are able to continue the work of, of our Lord even after we are gone. Of course, financial Financial support is always welcome. Most importantly, uh, our, our people. 
We cannot do the work without people. We are uh, people who are sent by God. We are sent as his ambassadors, and we have an incarnational ministry that we as his representatives need to go and be with our brothers and sisters in Christ all around the world. 